Hey, hey, you, you, get on to my cloud. Hey guys, it's me, Elric Ferris, here once again on the Motherboards.org YouTube channel. Got my co-host, JJ from ASUS, and today we're going to be talking about some new, really incredible software that goes along with using some of their new routers, and this is the new AI Cloud. Now this is really cool. With AI Cloud, you're able to basically go off every computer that's hooked up to your router and access it just like you had your own Dropbox in your house. And now JD is going to show us some of the great features of this and show you why you're going to want to take advantage of this new technology. So JJ, let's jump into this and tell us just really what is all this new AI Cloud about? Uh, AI Cloud is actually a brand new piece of software and also on a firmware level, so it works with the hardware on a number of our brand new routers that we're going to be launching or have already launched. Is it Cloud9 ready? <laughs> it's definitely cloud ready. Right. Um, you know, there's a lot of users out there that are looking for an easy way to be able to share their content. And that's what really AI Cloud is all about. It's, a, it's about enabling uh, easy streaming, sharing, and syncing of your content. So you actually mentioned Dropbox earlier. And while we're actually going to have plans later to integrate Dropbox support, one cool function that we already right now have within the AI Cloud software is that we're going to be able to take our ASUS web storage uh, that we're currently offering to users, where they can essentially go ahead and uh, sign up for web storage. Um, go ahead and synchronize that content, um, but in real time, have that content be synced to their USB-enabled device uh, storage that they have attached to the router. So take, for instance, here on this RTN AC66, we could go ahead and plug in an external like two terabyte hard drive or maybe a high-speed flash drive, whatever it might be, and now not only have just us have access to this via like AI disk so that we can access that on our intranet as well as our extranet, intranet. right? But we could also then have all the systems that are connected to this router also be able to have access to that AI disk. So now that enables a whole nother level of functionality. Now that's really cool, but what I really have always been interested in is being able to take all the other systems that I already have networked essentially and be able to have also access to those systems. And that's what we're gonna be showing you in this demo that we have set up for you. But essentially we're gonna have, whether it's a wirelessly connected system or it's a hardline enabled system, you can go ahead and make the shared folders that you've gone ahead and defined now available to you, whether you're in your intranet, your extranet, whether you're on a cellular network or whether you're on a Wi-Fi network, whether it's in your home or outside of your home, you're going to now be able to readily take advantage of all that content. Well, and like the email you sent me earlier, you can actually send out an email with a link and then drop on over and get in the systems that are connected to that like you did with me earlier. You sent me that email, I went and looked at it, I'm right into your system checking out your stuff. So yeah. that's really cool. Great way to share information between friends and family. Definitely. And you have that flexibility that whether it's for you know personal fun and you just want to be able to share maybe music or movies or different files that you might have, you're not necessarily limited to those, um, the, those uh, storage based services where you have to sync that available to be able to share that, right? Because you might already have these systems that have tons of content. So with this mechanism, like you said, we can create these share links and we just can go ahead and send that link out to a user and they're essentially just downloading it directly through your system um, and they're actually accessing the router, which is accessing that system. So overall, really cool level of functionality. We do want to let users know that right now we're going to be launching this in a beta form um, so they can definitely check out our AI Cloud uh, landing page. They can sign up. They can see if they can get part of the uh, exclusive beta access that we're going to have going on. And as we get closer and closer to the launch, we'll of course be adding more functionality, more features, and just make it more awesome. And uh, hopefully by the end of the year, we'll have this fully launched. Um, right now, we're expecting to launch this with four routers. So it's going to be the RTN AC66U, the RTN N66U, uh, the RTN 65U, and then our RTN N16. The Fantastic Four. <laughs> Definitely the Fantastic Four. So uh, for users that are really looking to kind of take it to the next level at enabling the best kind of web connection and taking advantage of the cloud, it's a really awesome piece of software that we hope that you users are going to be interested in. Right on. Well, let's jump in. Well, let's see how this thing actually works. Okay, so here you guys, you can see that we're at the AI Cloud interface. Uh, this is actually accessing AI Cloud directly through a web browser. So this would work on a notebook, on a desktop, on a tablet, on a smartphone, any place that you essentially have a web browser that's enabled uh, for internet connectivity. So here we've gone ahead and logged into my, actual, uh, my custom domain, which can be provided and enabled through our AI Cloud firmware on the router. And uh, that's also hosted free through us, so you don't actually have to have a service. You can go ahead and define your own unique name, uh, as is mine. It's called Planet Krypton. So I'm just going to go ahead and enter my login information so we can take a look at my AI Cloud environment. Oh. 
Okay, so you guys can see here that we're now accessing my AI cloud. So at home, I actually have a, a test unit set up, an RTN N66U, um, which actually has a USB attached storage device, as well as have a number of other networked uh, computers on, connected to the RTN 66U, uh, both via wireless and hardlined. So as we were talking about, AI Cloud gives you the ability to access multiple systems uh, that are on your intranet in different connections, uh, whether we're talking ethernet enabled, so physically connected to the router, or whether wirelessly enabled. So this is a big benefit versus just like our normal AI disk functionality, which would allow us to attach and access a USB attached storage device. So first off the bat, let's go ahead and actually just click on the RTN 66U. When we click on it, you can see that I have 180 gigabyte hard drive connected, so that if I go ahead and click on it, I can freely access all the content that's available to me on there. That would include folders and all the content that's inside those folders, whether they be music, movies, videos, documents, or different types of files. As an example, we're going to go ahead and click here into this wallpapers folder, and we can go ahead and see that here we have all the uh, actual images available to us, and if I go ahead and click on them, I can actually see that image. And we actually even have integrated slideshow support. So if I press play, it would create a slideshow. Or I can just go ahead and use the tabs uh, so that I can go ahead and take a look at the different photos that are actually on my AI cloud. So pretty cool in terms of that level of functionality it's built in. Now if I go ahead and exit out, and let's say I use our selection mechanism, we can go ahead and do some additional levels of functionality. So I can go ahead and press select, and then select a file. And then once I select it, I have different options. I can go ahead and rename that file. I can download it to my system locally if I wanted to, or you can see right there. I can it to, download it directly to my downloads folder. Uh, I can go ahead and delete the file, or I can even share it with a friend. So I can go ahead and click on share. It will actually create a download link for me, and I can go ahead and click apply. And once I've created that download link, I can then just email that directly to somebody and they can download that file directly from me. So very easy. I don't have to worry about any type of configuration parameters or worrying about attachment limits or anything like that. And I can allow the user to directly download the file. And this would work the same way for different types of music uh, or documents um, or different types of video formats. So we can also see that we can actually stream video and here we've actually got a uh, online uh, review site uh, that does a lot of different content and we, if we go ahead and just take a look at this video, we can stream it directly from this actual USB attached storage device. And this plays directly off of whatever embedded player that you have on your system. So here on my uh, notebook I have VLC equipped so that's actually what's using to play back this video content. So pretty straightforward. You can of course pause, play, or even full screen it. Uh, so you got a lot of little, a lot of different uh, functionality available to you here within the interface. So that's pretty cool. Now from here, we also want to go ahead and take a look at what makes AI Cloud really unique in terms that you can access systems that aren't directly attached. In terms of uh, our USB attached storage is actually physically connected to the router. So what makes AI Cloud really new is that we can access our systems that are on either Ethernet or wireless. So as an example, I have my B43 notebook, which actually is connected to my RTN66, but wirelessly, but I'm still gonna be able to jump into that notebook and take a look at its files. So I could go here, let's see here to this user directory, go to my public folder. Maybe I wanna find out some information on our new EA and 66 wireless adapter. And so I could go here into my documents folder and I can see here, hey, I've got different files and they're actually even come up to me in kind of a nice uh, icon formatting resident to the type of file they are, whether it's a PDF, or a PowerPoint or a Word doc. And if you don't actually have a viewer natively installed on your system, we actually use Google Docs to allow you to open up this file. So I can go ahead and click on, let's say, this Word doc, and it will load it up for me real time here within Google Docs. So I can go ahead and preview this, this content. And keep in mind, you'd be able to do the same things that we did with the actual wallpaper, where we could go ahead and download this file, or we could go ahead and share it directly. So you can see right then and there, I'm able to go ahead and browse this file real time, take a look at it. I can move through the document. A lot of really cool level of functionality built into this. So I can go ahead and work right off that doc or download it. Now we also even have some additional functionality where we can work with systems that might actually be in sleep. So take for instance, I've got a new media center that I just started to actually set up at home and connect to this uh, test router with AI Cloud. So I can go ahead and actually click on this media center and when I click on it, it'll tell you that the actual computer is offline. So I can go ahead and actually wake this system up. Now you do have to have Wake On LAN enabled on that system to have this feature work correctly. 
So I'm going to go ahead and press OK. It'll let you know that depending on the system and its performance characteristics, it could take a couple of minutes to go ahead and actually wait for the system to come online. So we're going to get it actually a couple of seconds here, and then we'll attempt to refresh uh, via this button down here and see if our media center comes online so that we can also go ahead and browse its files. OK, so let's go ahead and refresh it. We'll click it. It will refresh the system. And we've gone ahead and redetected the systems, and we can see right there that we have our media center has now come online. So I can go ahead and now click on my media center, which has now come out of sleep mode, actually come out of hibernation, and I will now have access to its contents of folders. So take for instance, I could go ahead and go to my public folder where I have all my recordings. And I actually have a quad HD tuner set up in that system and where I record a lot of different TV shows that are available to me. So you can imagine if I was on the road um, and I wanted to do different things, take a, take a look at that, I could actually click into that folder and I can see here all the different shows. You know, Charlie Rose for my news, Austin City Limits if you like concerts, or of course, you know, any of your, uh, your prime time uh, content that's available on different types of uh, networks. So pretty cool, and of course you could actually click on the file and you could stream it, or you could actually download it to your system. A pretty cool level of functionality built into this uh, AI Cloud software. And just like before, of course, you would have the same level of functionality of being able to go in and select how you want to share or modify those files, create new folders to go ahead and uh, re redistribute them in different locations or do different types of adjustments. So in addition to everything you see here in terms of being web-centric, uh, where you can go ahead and use a web browser to access the AI Cloud, we can actually also do this on mobile products. So as you can see right here, I've actually got a mobile product and a, a Motorola Bionic Android smartphone. Um, our application that actually we have available for mobile products is fully available on both Android and iOS devices, so this is actually Apple friendly. Um, so in terms of how we would actually work with this in accessing our AI Cloud, it's very straightforward. We'd install the application, go ahead and launch it, and from there you'll actually see that we can refresh our actual uh, AI Cloud enabled routers where you can actually have multiple of these. If I was to click here on the router button, I could let's say maybe have a AI Cloud set up at my apartment or my home, but I could also have another one set up in maybe my office environment and each one of those would have their respective PCs accessible under each one of those. Um, but as an example, let's continue to use the one that we had uh, referenced underneath our uh, N66U, which is at home, and we showed you there in the web interface. So as we can see here, we have our B43 notebook as well as our media center and a couple of other systems as well available to us. And so just like before, I can go ahead and go directly into AI Disk and select that and go ahead and access the content from within there. So let's say maybe I wanna go ahead and head once again over to my uh, wallpapers. And once I load that up, you can go ahead and enable the same level of sharing that we also showed within the web interface. Now keep in mind that in terms of the performance, it's going to vary depending on your connectivity that you might have on your network. If it's of course a high performance Wi-Fi network, it'll be fast and responsive, able to, level, uh, able to enable a high level of streaming. Um, and if you're on let's say 4G uh, versus 3G, that's also gonna provide its benefits as well. So from here, of course, I can go ahead and click on that wallpaper and it would actually open up that file and make it available to me so that I could go ahead and view it on the go. And you could do this just as easily with that Word document uh, or a PowerPoint file if maybe you're somebody that's interested in a more business-related aspect of it. And we're also gonna show how you can also quickly enable the sharing functionality once we view this photo and we go back out to the primary menu. So there you can see our photo's gone ahead and come up. Uh, it does uh, adjust in terms of portrait or landscape mode depending on the artition of the phone. And we can go ahead and back out of this here. And from here, uh, we're just going to go ahead and once again uh, go back into that folder. Actually, we'll go into uh, the the business series notebook, and we'll go take a look at our document folder. And once you do that, if we press over here on the little share button, we can go ahead and maybe select a file that we would want to go ahead and share. And then you have options down here, whether they're going to be to email, uh, text, or go ahead and create a share link. Uh, which would be to go ahead and provide this link so that we could email it or send it over to somebody so they could go ahead and download that file. So this gives you a bit of a preview of the beta of AI Cloud that we're going to be releasing uh, to select community uh, in the very near future. And we're definitely going to be continuing to uh, revamp and extend its functionality as we get closer and closer to the official launch, which will be in the coming months.